romance readers welcome back to adore r i'm back again with another video to finish up uh as i mentioned in my last video that i had um some more books here that i had got from mckay's used bookstore that i want to that i, I have purchased and i want to finish up uh that and go over the rest of those and i also i was looking through my um stacks over there and i found some books that been here for I know I had these for maybe about a year or two years so I'm going to do a book haul and I'm also going to do a TBR because I'm I got to read these books and go through them and uh, decide which what I'm going to keep and what I'm going to give away because I was like they just sitting here I haven't read them they just piling up so I'm going to read these hopefully I can finish it these uh, the ones I got uh, to be read by the end of this month or the beginning of next month I'm going to try. So let's begin with the book that I just purchased. Um, the first I have here is by Julia Justice. And I don't have the price. I, took, I tore the sticker off these. So I don't have uh, the prices of how much I pay for these. But just know that I got a good bargain. And the first one that I purchased is by Julia Justice. It's a Holoquin Historical. Uh, I've read. She's an excellent author. I've, I've read quite a few of her books. Uh, and I'm just going to do a little synopsis of these, as you know from my other video. I'm not good with these synopsis, so. Especially when I'm trying to read on video, is it's not happening. I'm trying to make a video and read at the same time, and <laughs> it don't work out too well for me. But I will give it a try. I'm, I'm not going to do all of them. I'm going to do some of them, so I'll give it a go. In prison as a child by her spirited father, Helen Lambert vowed upon his death to never again live under a man's rule, but to earn her mother's last wish, she journeys to London to enter society and find herself a reluctant guest of the dashing Lord Darnell. Julia Justice, the Untamed Heiress. It sounds pretty good. So as soon as I get through reading those other books I have, I'm going to start on these. Um... Uh, like I said, it's a historical, the untamed heiress, Julia Justice. Uh, the next one I have here is Emma Wiles. I, have, I haven't read her before, I don't think. Have any of you read her before? Let me know if she's a good author or not. And this is called One Whisper Away. I'll read a little bit of this. Lady Cicely Francis is resigned to become the wife of Lord Dury, the man she suspects her sister is pining for. But upon her first scandalous encounter with the exotic Earl of Argentine, the American air one is whispering about, Cicely is intrigued by the possibility of a more exciting life. If only she could contrive some way to marry the unconventional Earl instead. Sound interesting. Emma Wiles, One Whisper Away. If, and if any of you read any of these books that I'm showing you, let me know. Um, because I would, like I said, my other, I would love to read. If you let me know the good ones, I'll read them first, and then I'll finish out with the rest of them. Next, I have uh, Eloise Jane. I just, uh, I think I read a book. Um, I can't think of the name of it. The American Duchess. I think I, I read that. It was an excellent book. If you hadn't read it, um, I'll do a review on that. If I, I don't think I did one on the. I, don't, I think it was an American heiress. Uh, and I really enjoyed that one. So when I went to the bookstore, I saw her name. So I said, I'll try these because that was my first time reading her, uh, The American Heir. And I really, The American Heiress. And I really enjoyed it. Uh, and this one is called Food for Love, Eloise James. And I'll read a little synopsis of this. Lady Henry Ella McClellan longed for the romantic swirl of a London season, but as a rusticating country maiden, they be having these oh, rusticating. Okay, <laughs> she has always kept her sensual nature firmly under wraps until she meets Simon Darby. Simon makes her want to whisper promises late at night, exchange, ki exchange kisses on a balcony, receive illicit love notes. So Henrietta lets her imagination soar and writes. Uh, a very steamy love letter that becomes shockingly public. Everyone supposes that he has written it to her, but the truth hardly matters in the face of the scandal to come. If they don't marry at once, if they don't marry at once, but nothing has quite prepared Henrietta for the pure sensuality 
sensuality of the man. Hmm. I hope it's good. Eloise Jane, Food for Love. I have to make sure I'm reading the right thing because sometimes I just be reading stuff and it don't even say that. I was like, I was like, pay attention to what you're reading. <laughs> I was like, where I get that from? I'm making stuff up in my own mind, people. And this is also Eloise Jane, The Ugly Duchess. And I'll read a little bit of this. How can she dare to imagine her look? How? Look. Boy, I tell you, reading the back of these books. <laughs> I'm going to get it together. How can she dare to imagine he loves her when all London calls her the ugly duchess? Theodora Saxby is the last woman anyone expect the gorgeous Jane Rayburn, heir to the Duchy of Asbrook, to marry. But after a romantic proposal from before the prince himself, even practical Theo finds herself convinced of her soon-to-be Duke's passion. So, I, I got this because it said the ugly duchess. I want to see how this turned out. Eloise Jane. And next I have uh, Joe Goodman. She's an excellent writer too. I've read quite a few of her historicals. And this is Passion Sweet Revenge. I'm not going to read the back of this, but it's Joe Goodman, Passion Sweet Revenge. Have any of you uh, read this? If you haven't read any of Joe Goodman books, you need to try her out. She's an excellent author. I'm not going to read the back of the uh, the rest of these because I'm not doing too good today. So I'm just going to show you the book that I bought and purchased and the books that I want to read for uh, the end of this month. And so the next one I have here is also by Joe Goodman, All I Ever Needed. The next one I have here is uh, Emma Merritt. I never read her before. Lord of Fire. Have any of you read this? Have y'all have any of you uh, read her any of her books? Let me know. And last but not least is Loretta Chase. I have read her before. She's an excellent author too. Don't tempt me. It's also a historical. I don't know if I mentioned or not, but this, all the all these that I just showed you, um, you all are is are, are historicals. So let me get to my to be read pile here that I want to read. Uh, the first one is uh, K.K. Warner. I hope I'm pronouncing that name right. This is a western, a historical. I love western, so I saw this and I said I'll give it a try. Pieces of Sky. Have any of you read her before? I haven't. K. Keith Warner. Uh, the next one here. This darn. I hate these. Uh, when they stick these on here. And you try to get them off. And they just won't come off. And then you just have this. I guess I have to get some. I'll wet some and try to get this off here. If I can. I just keep. Uh messing with it till I finally end up getting it out but then it's gonna be all sticky and stuff I hate some of them come off easy and some of them don't and they just leave a mess but anyway I digress let me get on with this uh this one is called how to wed a warrior Christy English I never read her before either and if you read her before let me know if she's a good author or not uh, next I have is a romantic suspense Holoquin romantic suspense Executive Protection. I've never read this author before either. Jennifer Morey. And this one is called Protector. I think I've read some Catherine Mann before. I'm not sure. It looks like that name is familiar to me. But this is a uh, romantic suspense also. I like, I think I mentioned before, I like reading romantic suspense too. So this is Catherine Mann Protector. And I'm sure all of y'all read Jane Ann Krantz, a.k.a. Jane Castle, a.k.a. Stephanie Jane. I bought all her Stephanie Jane book when she wrote for, uh, when she was with Silhouette Desire. And I bought uh, all of her uh, Candlelight. I can't think of what the name of it, but I think it was Candlelight something, Romance or something. I can't think of it right now. But she was writing at Jane Castle, Jane Castle then. And um, 
I bought I got a bunch of her books too. I'm gonna show you my old books uh, by Jane Castle and I'll show you if I can get to find the ones that um I still have them because they're my keepers. So um one day I'll do my old throwbacks and I'll uh, bring out my Jane Castle and my uh when she wrote this Jane Castle with candlelight candlelight ecstasy I think that's what it was called and uh silhouette desire i'll show y'all some of her old books that i have but uh, she writing that jane jane and cranch writing as jane castle sirens call my sister recommended this book because i haven't read her in a, quite a while because she started writing uh suspense suspense novels and um paranormal and some of them i couldn't get into but my sister recommended this so i'm gonna give it a try sirens call by jane castle aka jane and cranch <laughs> and last, just last but not least, I also got another paranormal here. I haven't read this author before either. Terry Spear, Silence of the Wolf. So I'm going to give this one a try uh, also. So hopefully um, I can get finish all of these by the end of this month and some of next month. I know I'm not going to finish all of them by this month. So at the beginning of uh, next month, I, hopefully I'll be finished and I'll come back. And I'll do, um, go over these, let you know the ones I like and the ones I didn't like. And the ones I don't like, maybe i have a giveaway or I'll just take them to the library and give them away. And also I want to let you know that um, I'm on Instagram now. So come and join me over, uh, follow me on Instagram. It's uh, Adore Romance and uh, follow me there. And... We can be friends on Instagram, so I'll see y'all later, and keep reading those romances. Have a great evening. Bye.